Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Look up in the sky. Is it a bird or a plane? No, it's a 1956 Case 400 high crop. And though it's a bit of a stretch, this tall beauty built for farming vegetables and sugarcane is now right at home in the heart of Iowa farm country. For owner Neil Cloyd, the fever for case tractors got started when he was just a teenager. Well, what drew me to it, I guess, goes back to when I was a sophomore in high school. We went to a 400 case uh, demonstration and uh, my dad had a couple of case tractors and, and it always kind of uh, struck my eye. I always, it was appealing tractor. I liked the tractor and the infatuation of the high crop. You know, some, uh, some, a lot of people in the, in the collecting, tractor collecting hobby enjoy the high crops and, and I also do. Neil actually found this tractor on the internet and he was even able to get a copy of the original build sheet. The Case 400 was manufactured by the J.I. Case Company in Racine, Wisconsin from 1955 to 1957. Neil's tall tractor is one of only 58 gasoline-powered 400 high crops Case ever built. You know, one in 58 is a, is a, is a nice number. It's not the rarest tractor on earth, but it's a, that's a nice number. Well, back in its day, it was uh, went to three areas of the United States, principally uh, Okoboji Lake area of Florida in sugarcane country, Louisiana and sugarcane country, and then on the west coast for truck gardening, vegetable, uh, vegetable farming. Neil's 400 high crop spent its working days in California, and it's common to find tractors like this one worked hard in high heat and humidity with serious rust problems. But that was not the case with this case. I think I would call it a rather easy uh, uh, restoration. Uh, the tin work was beat up. It wasn't rusted away. We had to replace the hood. The gas tank was straight and nice. Uh, uh, no problems with the gas tank. The grill, uh, we've got a couple pictures of the grill. The grill is hard to come by on these tractors. Uh, they're going for $125 to $150 on eBay now, and, and the grill was in excellent shape. The bonnet was in good shape. The heads on the tractor had uh, appeared to be low hour. We, we uh, replaced a couple valves from uh, water inhalation rust and, and uh, got the tractor back together. and, and uh, the more we worked the, the clutch, we put the original flywheel, the original clutch plate back in it, and a lot of the, looked at the transmission, and a lot of the gears were in excellent condition, and overall the tractor's not been a high R tractor. The other half of the we in this classic tractor restoration team is Neil's wife, Shirley. Oh, uh, my wife pays the bills. <laughs> that's, a, that's the we part of it. She's very supportive. And she, she likes this tractor. I mean, it's a unique, so, so it's, it's, fun. it's a fun tractor to take to show. It's a fun tractor to have. I think we've had uh, more reaction to this high crop case than any of the tractors that we have had. Uh, it's a little more unusual. Um, we even had a, a woman run up to Neil uh, in a parade and ask him how uh, he had made this tractor that high and she'd never seen one before and uh, thought that he had had built it that way uh, from scratch. And I said, well, lady, this is a vegetable farming tractor, a sugarcane farming tractor, and that's the way it's made. It came, Case made the tractor this way, and, and, uh, and uh, it, it, uh, it is a tall tractor, and that's the way it was made. The Case 400 featured a 50 horsepower, four-cylinder engine and an eight-speed transmission. Built to work, it also had good looks. In the late 50s, Case switched to the two-tone flambeau red paint scheme and added another new feature as well. Then new, uh, new seat suspension, uh, creature comfort started to, started to come about in the years this tractor was introduced. And, uh, and then aesthetics, you know, and aesthetics uh, it started probably 10 years before that, but the aesthetics on the, on this tractor, nice looking tractor, and people were starting to think about looks and, and how nice a tractor looks, how nice a tractor is to handle, uh, considered those in their purchasing options. One feature of this classic Case 400 that may strike some people as odd are the industrial type fenders. It, it's extremely a likely possibility that these uh, uh, Case industrial fenders were mounted on the tractors that left the Midwest and went to California. Uh, but there again, we don't know. Uh, it sure looks like a fit. The reason they're on there now that they're never shown on anything else is because when I got it back from California, they were on it. 
Uh, I like fan fenders, and I left them on it, and, and, uh, and I think they're a little addition to the tractor. While Neil's love for high crops runs deep, his passion for restoring all kinds of classic tractors runs even deeper. His collection now numbers more than 30. But wife Shirley and their son Jeff are always ready to give the tractors a little exercise. And Neil himself loses all track of time when he's out with his tractors. And I've never, I, I'd be afraid to keep track of the hours. You know, you work after supper. You, it's one of those things that uh, you gravitate toward it. I don't, I don't plan on going working on a tractor. I end up out in the shop and then pretty soon I've got four or five hours in it. Well, I'm proud of Neil. I know it's something that he enjoys doing. Um, he spends a lot of time at it. And at the same time, he gets a lot, of, lot done in a little bit of time. Breathing the, the new life into the old iron is, uh, is uh, that's the moment that you live for is when you hit the starter and it starts. You know, you get everything so that when you hit the starter button, it starts and, and runs and runs reasonably well.